Hi there. We now know that the influx of illegal migrants will not be stopped. The recent government document makes it clear that the present rate will can go on for at least another five years. And there's always a reason. It's the EU or it's the UN agreements, blah, blah. What's never mentioned in mainstream media is that one of the main reasons people voted for Brexit was to protect our borders. But of course, the political class never wanted Brexit. So they dragged their heels for years and never delivered the Brexit we voted for, which is what they wanted. And they now use the failure to deliver as a pretext to call it a failure per se. They had already decided it would fail. And the nonsense talked about trying to reach an agreement with the French over illegal migrants. We don't have an agreement. We have a collusion to keep the wave of illegal migrants coming. As my good friend Mandy Hugh says, why would the French assist us in something that they don't want? They want to get rid of the the, the migrants camping on their shores, the whole lot. So why the hell would they want to stop it? Of course they don't. And we have to face up to the bigger picture. Europe is collapsing for good and the United States, which controls most of what happens in Europe, is on its own downward spiral. We have to face the fact that we have no political leaders of any talent or substance. There are a few good souls, but they are shouting in the wind. The truth is, we have been deserted and betrayed, politically, culturally, educationally, artistically, spiritually and morally. It has all happened in a, a remarkable few generations, starting with the hideous Tony Blair in the late 90s. Angela Merkel, Blair, Molatily, Macron and others have effectively destroyed Europe by allowing the floodgates of unrestricted migration. As Gaddafi said just before he was murdered, at the behest of Bush and Blair, that we were taking the cork out of Africa and we had no idea of the consequences. You only need two brain cells and a map of the world to see what would happen. Europe is dissolving in a multicultural, increasingly violent sludge that will get worse, a spiritual desert unless you're a Muslim, and a bland arts and media slush of wokey, virtue signalling nonsense that would shame a village idiot. We have to face the fact that we are on our own in a dying culture and the only people we can rely on are ourselves, in groups and individually, and if nothing else, to speak out again and again. At least, let's go down shouting.